scene script. Picture this. You're on a luxury Alaskan cruise, the air is crisp, the scenery breathtaking, and suddenly you find yourself in a kayak in the middle of icy waters, your cruise ship shrinking in the distance. This isn't a scene from an action movie, folks. It's a real-life misadventure that happened on an Alaskan cruise. It's a stark reminder of the importance of understanding the cruise itinerary, the rules, and the unexpected situations that might arise. So what went wrong? Well, our intrepid adventurer decided to take a kayak out for a spin without fully grasping the ship's departure schedule. Picture the surprise when they turned around only to see their floating hotel sailing off into the sunset. Not exactly the serene day at sea they had in mind. This misstep underscores the importance of knowing your cruise itinerary inside and out. Whether it's an Alaskan voyage or a Mediterranean escapade, every cruise has a detailed schedule. It's not just about knowing when dinner is served. It's about understanding when the ship is set to depart from each port of call. But it's not just about the schedule. It's also about understanding the rules. Each cruise line has specific guidelines about water activities. Some might allow you to take a kayak out on your own. Others might require you to be part of an organized excursion. If you're not sure, ask. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And finally, it's about preparing for the unexpected. Weather can change quickly, especially in places like Alaska. Even the most experienced kayaker could find themselves in a tricky situation if a storm rolls in. So while our wayward kayaker made it back to the ship safely, their tale serves as a cautionary one. It reminds us to respect the sea, to know our limits, and to always, always, always check the departure time. Now that we've set the stage with our little misadventure, let's dive into the what not to do list for your Alaskan cruise. First up on our list, never ignore the safety briefing. You might be eager to kickstart your adventure or too engrossed in the mesmerizing views, but ignoring the safety briefing can be a costly mistake. The safety briefing is not just a mundane formality, it's a lifeline. It's your guide to a safe and enjoyable journey aboard the cruise ship. It's where you learn how to react in case of an emergency, familiarize yourself with the ship's layout, and understand the safety procedures in place. This information can be the difference between a panic-stricken response and a calm, informed reaction in case of an unexpected situation. Let's take a little detour back to our protagonist from the opening story. She was too excited about her first Alaskan cruise and decided to skip the safety briefing to explore the ship, a decision she would soon regret. When the ship was hit by rough weather, our protagonist found herself in a state of panic. She didn't know where the life jackets were stored or how to put them on. She had no idea where the muster stations were or what they even meant. The ship's crew was busy managing the situation and she was left feeling helpless and scared. Now imagine if she had attended the safety briefing. She would have known exactly where to go, what to do, and how to stay safe. She wouldn't have had to rely on others or wait for assistance. She could have been a source of calm and confidence amidst the chaos. The moral of the story, never underestimate the power of knowledge and preparation. The safety briefing is there for a reason. It's not just about knowing where the lifeboats are or how to use a life jacket. It's about understanding the protocols, knowing your responsibilities, and being prepared for any situation. So next time you're on a cruise, don't be like our protagonist. Attend the safety briefing, pay attention, and make the most of your journey without compromising on safety. Remember, safety first always. Moving on to our second point. Don't underestimate the Alaskan weather. You'd be surprised to know how many people pack for an Alaskan cruise as if they're going to the Bahamas. They see cruise and immediately think tropical. But remember, this isn't your typical Caribbean voyage. You're heading to Alaska, the land of glaciers and majestic wildlife known for its unpredictable weather patterns and dramatic temperature shifts. Alaskan weather is a fickle friend that can change its mood faster than you can say brrr. One moment, you're basking in the sun, admiring a humpback whale in the distance. The next, you're caught in a sudden downpour, shivering from the cold. This is not the place to gamble with your wardrobe choices. So how do you pack for such variability? Simple, think layers. Start with a base layer that wicks moisture away from your body. You'll want a thermal or fleece mid-layer for insulation and a waterproof wind-resistant outer layer to shield you from the elements. Don't forget a hat, gloves, and a warm scarf. Remember, it's always easier to remove a layer if you're too warm than to conjure one from thin air when you're freezing. 
Pack for all types of weather because you're likely to encounter them all. You might experience glorious sunshine, torrential rain and a chilly breeze all in a single day. And let's not forget the evenings on the cruise ship when temperatures can drop significantly. Also, consider your footwear. A good pair of waterproof shoes or boots is essential for those wet, slippery decks and for any onshore excursions you might have planned. In short, be prepared. Don't let the capricious Alaskan weather catch you off guard because nothing ruins the magic of watching a glacier carve or a bald eagle soar overhead quite like shivering uncontrollably because you're underdressed. So pack wisely and be ready for all weather types. Next on our list, don't neglect local customs and regulations. Now it's easy to get swept up in the excitement of an Alaskan cruise and forget that you're visiting a place with its own unique traditions and laws. But remember, as travelers, we are guests in these communities and it's our responsibility to respect their customs and regulations. Take, for instance, wildlife regulations. Alaska is teeming with stunning wildlife. You might be tempted to get that perfect snapshot of a grizzly bear or a bald eagle, but remember there are laws in place to protect these creatures. Ignoring these could not only land you in hot water with the authorities, but could also put you and the animals at risk. It's always safer and more respectful to admire from a distance. And let's not forget about cultural sensitivity. Alaska has a rich indigenous heritage that is deeply woven into its social fabric. From totem poles to traditional festivals, it's a culture that deserves our respect. So before you snap that selfie with a totem pole or join in a local celebration, make sure you understand what they signify and if it's appropriate for you to participate. Also, remember to respect public spaces. Littering, for instance, is not just frowned upon, but it's also illegal. Alaska's natural beauty is its most precious asset, and it's up to us to keep it pristine for future generations. And finally, don't underestimate the importance of local knowledge. Alaskans know their land and seas better than anyone. If a local or a guide advises you not to do something, heed their advice. They're not trying to spoil your fun but rather ensure your safety and the preservation of their homeland. In conclusion, when you're on an Alaskan cruise, remember to respect local customs, follow regulations, and embrace the Alaskan way of life. After all, respect for the places we visit and the people we meet along the way is what truly enriches our travel experiences. Respect is the key to an enjoyable journey in any part of the world. Now that we've covered our what not to do list, let's do a quick recap. In the vast wilderness of Alaska, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. This is particularly true when embarking on an Alaskan cruise. We've explored some vital points today and to ensure they stick, let's take a moment to revisit them. Firstly, safety briefings. These might seem like a chore, but they are in fact an essential part of your journey. They are there to equip you with the knowledge to handle any emergency that may arise. Don't skip them, don't ignore them. They are your lifeline in a situation you never want to find yourself in. So when the crew calls for a safety briefing, make sure you're front and center. Next, let's talk about the weather. Alaska's weather is as unpredictable as it is beautiful. One moment you could be basking in the sun and the next you could be caught in a downpour. By packing versatile clothing and gear, you can be prepared for whatever mother nature throws your way. Remember, there's no such thing as bad weather, only unsuitable clothing. Lastly, but by no means least, is the importance of respecting local customs and regulations. Alaska's land and marine life are protected by a myriad of rules and regulations. Respecting them not only ensures the preservation of this beautiful state, but also guarantees a trouble-free journey. So whether it's about maintaining a safe distance from the wildlife or respecting sacred native sites, make sure you're on the right side of the law. Remember, these tips are not just for an Alaskan cruise, but for any travel adventure you embark on. Stay safe, stay prepared, and most importantly, enjoy the journey.